Hello and welcome to Beehive Quilt Shop. Um, I'm here for a really quick um, tutorial on how to make directional fabric into pillowcases. So here at Beehive Quilt Shop we really like to do uh, these tube pillowcases. They're really fun, they're easy, they're fast. So this is one out of me and my sister fabric that we did. It's a little store model, but you can tell these ladybugs, um, they're, it's a tossed fabric, they don't have a correct direction. Um, so they make really easy pillowcases. So when you make a tube pillowcase, you need three-fourths of a yard and you need a two-inch strip of this popper. Sometimes you can actually top stitch that down, is really nice. Um, and then you need a quarter yard for this piece here. It makes a regular standard size pillowcase. But sometimes when we want to make a pillowcase, we fall in love with a directional fabric and that can make it a little challenging. So if you just get three-fourths of a yard of a directional fabric, um, for a pillowcase, what happens is instead of having all these nice um, trucks and stuff going, you know, across just like they would on a bed, um, then all of a sudden they go up and down, which isn't wrong. It's perfectly fine. It's just a pillowcase. Your grandkids or your kids aren't going to care. Um, you may not even care. But if you are like me, and this happens to be your pet peeve, you may want your trucks and trailers to go um, horizontal on the pillowcase. So to do that, it's not very tricky. So again, if you're going to, you need three fourths of a yard of this fabric to make the body of the pillowcase. So when you have a directional fabric like this one, this is a tractor fabric from Andover and it's called Village Life, which is kind of fun. Um, so instead of buying just three fourths of a yard, you actually need a yard and a quarter. So fabric, traditionally, most fabrics from most brands are 42 to 45 inches um, with the fabric, which is silvage to silvage. So, um, so that's how that distance is. So what we're doing to make a directional pillowcase is instead of using this piece of fabric for the body of the pillowcase, we need to cut that length here first. So we're going to simply um, open this bolt up like this. We're going to find, um, I know this is about 44 inches. So I'm gonna cut a 44 inch strip right here. And so now what I've done is I've created from this to this length is what this originally is. So now I'm going to fold my new chunk of fabric and pretend that it's selvage to selvage. So my tractors are running correct directions, which will make me happy. Um, and it'll make, you know, Stella happy. Stella loves trucks. So um, now that we're mimicking it, you can tell that now that I folded this fabric, this looked about like what it looked like um, when I had the fabric selvage to selvage. So now what we're going to do is just make sure we have kind of an even fold. We can trim that top part up later. Um, the important part is we're gonna have a fold here. It would be ideal if you had time to go ahead and give this a nice press. Um, you could either use, um, I of course like to use best press, so if I was, ironing this I would use best press and steam just to get that nice wrinkle out because let's face it no one is going to iron your pillowcase after you're done unless you happen to be Martha Stewart which yay for you um, but anyway I'm going to go ahead and trim this selvage off so I'm going to take um, I'm going to line this up here to make sure that that's um, even on my uh, ruler to make sure that I have a nice 90 degree um, cut and this you know you should you know be careful when you do it that direction. In an ideal world, you'd flip it and flip it again, but we're making a tutorial. So now um, I'm right at the zero mark on my ruler, or on my uh, rotary mat, or rotary mat, right? Cutting mat. Anyway, so now what we're doing is, again, we're gonna mimic three-fourths of a yard, which is 27 inches. So this to here is about, you know, 44 inches, and uh, now we're gonna make 27 inches. So now I'm going to take my ruler right here, and you know, it's fine if you go 27 and a half, that's fine. Um, but anyway, now right here is the new body of my pillowcase. And I know that when I sew um, these sides around that my tractors and trailers are going to be at running nice horizontal lines, just like a good tractor should. So now what happens is you have this leftover piece of fabric um, and it's about 14, 15 inches long. And so what you can do with this leftover chunk is one, you could make it into a coordinating quilt um, or a small project, a doll blanket, one of those things. Or if you want a matchy pillowcase, you can actually make your cuff out of this fabric as well. So again, when you're making a, a pillowcase, 
you need three fourths of a yard, two inches, and a quarter yard of fabric for this piece. And so what we're gonna do, if this is gonna be our cuff, is we're going to go ahead and cut our own nine inch piece. And so I'm gonna line it up, make sure it's even. I've got a nice 90 degree angle here. And I'm gonna cut right here to make it a nice nine inch strip. And here I have the body of my pillowcase that will make a great directional pillowcase right here so my trucks are running correctly. And now I have a nice directional cuff that's gonna go right here. And then all that's left to do is to find a nice popper um, to kind of separate the cuff from the body. And so I've chosen this nice little red. I think that'll be subtle. And then I would go ahead and top stitch this down because remember, we probably aren't ironing our pillowcases after we make them the first time. So again, if you're going to make a tube pillowcase method, um, which is super fun, you just need to have a yard and a quarter of your directional fabric uh, to get the right cut to make a directional pillowcase. So thank you for watching this tutorial.